This is my first official YouTube video. Um, basically, this is my 2002 Subaru WRX that once was drivable, was my daily driver, and then it blew up. But I got some bigger plans for it. Uh, today, we're actually just taking out the diff because I'm selling it. Still parting things out from it because I'm going to build it into something better. Put a six speed in it, build a big two liter turbo, things like that. If you guys like to watch, stay tuned, you know, subscribe or anything that you want to, and just watch it grow. <laughs> Basically, there's a few bolts that you're gonna have to take out. Right here, this rear brake caliper. There's two bolts on the back. If you can see, there's one right, let me see if I can find it, right here, and there's one down here. You have to take those out to get that brake caliper off because this line right here isn't long enough for you to pull out this thing. You're gonna need to take these two bolts out from your strut or from your coil over sway bar bolt out right here so it can pivot and the last one is this bolt right here this really long bolt comes all the way to the other side and ends up right here get that one out and then you'll punch out your axle from this side and you'll push it out that way so yeah let's get to doing this one. This is facing from the back of the car. If you look right up here, you can see you got two bolts you gotta take out that are mounting it up there. 
And then underneath the car, a little bit further up where the drive shaft should connect, points for the rest of the day. So let's get to doing that. Too. Also got to get out. later I got the diff out of the car I wasn't able to film it because it got a little too late so it was a little dark but I can show you guys down here I don't know if you can see those u-bolts go down into four slots in the diff and to get it out I basically jacked this plate up and this dropped right out and these two holes right up in here the studs slide out and it comes right out it's pretty easy pretty simple but now it's time to put it all back together we're gonna start with probably this these trailing arms with the long bolt that goes down pick up this hub be centered how they're supposed to be slide this guy in get this sway bar linkage attached back to here for the sway bar. <laughs> So now we're gonna get all of that tightened up and then we're gonna get the coil over put back on.
jack that I was using to help me. And the hub stays up. Move on to the next side now. Last thing done. Now we just gotta put the wheels on, lower to the ground. So there's been some problems. The wheel's actually hitting my coilover on both sides. And I just realized that when I took the hub off, it uh, messed up the alignment and everything obviously. So I have these spacers that I had on the car before that I took off because I got different wheels. Uh, but I sold those, so I'm going to put these spacers back on so it spaces out the wheel a little further from the uh, actual hub, and it won't hit my coil over. Okay, so my phone got really hot, and it stopped recording. Well, I guess you guys will see when it stopped recording. But, uh, got the spacers and the wheels on. That's what she looks like right now, with no diff or axle sitting in it. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, help me grow a little bit. So I can actually build my dream car and uh, subscribe, comment, or, you know, leave a like if you want to. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching.